Hey guys, how you doing today? It is a lovely day outside here this afternoon and I wanted to try one of my French wines. This is a little different. This is not a California wine that I normally do. This it would be a Chateauneuf de Pop, which was one of my favorite wines for many, many years and still is. Unfortunately, the powers that be in the United States decided to raise the tariffs of French wine quite a bit. I won't go into the details, but let's just say that, that it's way more expensive than it used to be um, to get a wonderful bottle of, of Chateauneuf de Pop. This one is, fuck, I don't remember, $45 or ish. I, I acquired this bottle, shoot, probably eight months ago or something like that. And I waited to open it for just, just that special. Oh my God, my boobs are going crazy here. <clears throat> and <laughs> it's all that fat. I wanted to say a few things about this particular wine and most wines in France, um, they are planted and produced and grown and um, taken care of and, and, and made into wine in the region that the name is uh, called. And I think this is it's called a commune or something like that, the Chateauneuf de Pop. So it can only be called that if it was grown in that area. And um, this particular one has a combination of different grapes. They're allowed to have um, several different grape varietals in there as long as the majority of the combination is Grenache. Grenache has to be the main grape. This particular bottle has 67% Grenache. 22% Syrah, 5% Mavedre, one of my favorite grapes, and 6% all others. <laughs> what, the fuck? what the fuck does that mean? All others of what? Anywho, it's um, it's going to be 14.5% as most of the Chateauneuf de Pop wines are. It's a 2016 and I'm not even going to try and pronounce this. Uh, <laughs> here is the bottle. <laughs> Domain de, yeah, no, I don't speak French. So, anyway, this is going to be fabulous. I have, I have a feeling it's going to be fabulous. Okay, <laughs> I can already get. Sorry about that, guys. I'm a little discombobulated. I can already get the the aromas just dancing around in this glass. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it has been so long since I've had any French wine, better or less a Chateauneuf du Pop. So, uh, let me do the swirl. <laughs> and the sniff. Hmm. I do get um, a little bit of a dark raspberry. This is crazy. It, it it has a sweet smell on the nose. There's something um something going on there. Sweet. Oh my God! I love this. I love this. Oh how I miss this. Almost a violet, ish like um, a, a kind of a if, if it can be dark a dark violet. All right, let's go in for the kill here. Mm. Wow, it's a little brighter on the front than I expected it to be. It has quite a bit of tannins going on there, a little bit of dry. You know, you got that in your mouth there. Uh, I think my son Chase would like this wine. Um, got legs <laughs> got really good legs you can never see it I don't know why I try but there's there's good good damn legs there I'm trying to see what I'm getting out of this because 
obviously it's going to take a bit for me to see what this is going to tell me. Um, doesn't have an extremely long finish, except it's, okay, there's a burn on the finish. I am, I'm, I'm assuming that is an alcohol kind of a burn on there, but the, the, it will open up a little bit more in my glass, even though I did use my, my little, um, my little robot, my little robot. My uh, menagerie aerator. I love my menagerie aerators. So I used that, but I could have decanted it, but I don't have a decanter because I broke mine. I have a big ass glass, so that will help for it to breathe and open and like start telling me some shit. You know what I'm saying? So let's see what else I got here. Hmm. I don't get a, you know, it's been so long since I've had this particular wine, type of wine that I was expecting more earth or, or, or dankness and darkness, but you know, it's, um, it's all in the blending of the grapes and how the winemaker wants to showcase this. And every bottle of Chateauneuf de Pop will not be the same. It won't be the same and it, it may have a different uh, grape varietals in it. But I am enjoying this one. I am enjoying this an awful lot. And I think the longer I sit here and the longer I drink this, it's going to open up a little bit more pleasing to me. It's almost like having an old friend come over because um, I did have a bottle or, or several bottles in my wine or my wine fridge for years because I, I would I would stock up with the with this uh, a good Jigendas and um, a Chateau de Pop. Now there's um, I've actually been to France um, probably it was like 20 shit I don't know when it was five years ago five six years ago and um, was in this wine region in, in Chateauneuf de Pop. And it's around Avignon, which was one of the, um, the towns that we visited. I went by myself, but I went with my friend Myrna who owns Rue Wine uh, Travel, Luxury Travel. It was a fuck it, I'm 50 trip, okay? Hello, that should tell me it's six years ago, I'm about to be 50 fucking six. Anyway, I went with a group of couples <laughs> and uh, hey, I ain't afraid to go alone. I had a fantastic time, time of my life. Practically two weeks river cruising it in France. Come on, please. I don't care if I was by myself. I enjoyed every minute of it and I won't look back in, in any other way other than grateful and thankful that I took that trip. Most amazing trip. I would recommend a southern river cruise, southern France river cruise to the Rhone and um, uh, Burgundy area and anyway. <laughs> okay, let's try, let's try a little bit more of this. Oh, I got smoke. A little smoke right there. There's a little smoke. Oh, that's nice. Not cigar box, but a smoke, smoky. Hmm. Wow. I'm excited about the tannins in this and um I am really enjoying the brightness. I uh I think that it has just enough on the back end to give it a little bit of an envelopment of um the darker fruits that I enjoy. So it's balanced really well. It's balanced really fantastic. I think I think I'm gonna really love this. Okay, now I'm gonna share something with you guys. This pictures. I had to show you pictures because I can't describe the way this Chateau de Pop area, the way the wines grow from the earth in 
struggling and you know by uh, maybe some things you have heard that wines uh, tend to be more bold and uh, the fact that they struggle for water and and um, it makes them rich and, and it, it makes them really yummy. This is Chateauneuf de Pop. This is the area. And if you look at the grapes and um, you see below, <laughs> Lord and mercy, everything is just, there's so much fucking sky that's just completely, you know, is making it hard to see. But see the rocks, the pebbles, those pebbles, those pebbles. That is what it grows out of. This is what it grows out of. And it's just absolutely incredible. It's um, probably one of the best, <laughs> best experiences in, of my life that I've had. And this is looking up at the top from looking down into the Chateauneuf de Pop Valley. And this is walking through the streets of the quaint little town and uh, Myrna and I uh, were late for the bus getting back from the tour because we stumbled across this amazing family owned winery, which, you know, this is fucking stupid. This was a bad idea. I, you can't see it because of the sunshine, but this was a cave in the middle of the town. There was a cave family-owned winery and we purchased several bottles from there and brought them home. I drank them already. I, I, I have no patience. I should have waited because I think Myrna and her husband Lance opened a bottle uh, months ago and I'm sure they enjoyed the hell out of it. So I need to learn to do better when I travel to try to save at least a couple of bottles to let it age a little. French wines are one of those things that you do you do want it to try to, to, to age a bit. This is a 2016 so it could go for several more years before um, its peak. But I'm enjoying it now, and my God, 12 minutes. <laughs> uh, that's a record even for me, because I just like to talk. All right, guys, thank you much. Bye-bye, cheers.